Hey guys, uh, I have a few questions coming in at me on the, my rooftop camera I'm building for my truck. Uh, this is, for people who don't know, uh, I storm chase a little bit out here in uh, Kansas. Uh, I need a 360 degree unhindered view. I can't do that while inside my vehicle while the hail and the wind and the rain is coming down. It's just impossible to do without pretty much destroying your equipment. Uh, so the pretty much the uh, Catch-all solution is to put a dome cam on the roof of your vehicle. I have a dome. It's an 18 inch it's around or about 10 inches tall. This is going to mount on top of this piece of heavy gauge sheet metal I picked up out of Lowe's. It's a 24 inch sheet piece of 24 inches across sheet metal. Uh, I'm cutting a square out of this 19 inches across and my eight, my dome is 18 inches from edge to edge. Actually, I believe this is 20 inches across. Anyways, uh, I've got my two cameras here. I'm using two cameras because uh, if any time, if this one's facing the action, there's something that happens on the opposite side of me, I want the second camera to be able to capture that action. This camera is a Swan Freestyle HD. Uh, it does come with uh, a few nice accessories. It has an LCD color viewfinder back on it. Uh, it does have voice activation, so you have want to clap to start recording whatever uh, it does have a wireless remote which is very nice uh, three buttons on it uh, a power button a shutter button and a movie mode button and you don't have to go through anything fancy you just hit the right button to do what you want pretty nice camera it's also compatible with uh, GoPro mounts uh, it did come with its own collection of mounts and adapters very nice little camera, run about 120 bucks, I believe, on Woot. You catch them on there uh, every couple weeks. The second camera is a GoPro HD. Uh, everybody know their HD. It's GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. Also, an uh, excellent camera. Picture quality is, uh, you know, it set the bar. The bad thing with these is, even though it has a cool Wi-Fi access, I can uh, use my Android tablet or if you have an iPhone, iPhone app to uh, live view. Well, it's not really a live view, it's a standby mode view of what the GoPro is seeing. So if uh, I just want to monitor where the camera is pointing, I can start the app, look where the camera is pointing, and uh, can see. The downside, as I mentioned, is when you're in Wi-Fi mode, it does eat the battery up really quick. That little battery does not last. So, with my solution, on the side, there's a USB port. The USB port is what charges the camera. There's a simple mod to take a standard uh, USB cord. You will cut that in half, not cutting the center conductors inside. You'll bend it 90 degrees. And it will weasel its way in and plug in while it's in this skeleton case. That'll save you a lot of headaches. So you can constantly have power to this camera while uh, it's on the truck. I'll, I'll be running 12 volts inside my dome. And it will go to a 5 volt step down uh, transformer. And I'll have 5 volts power to this. And I'll have 5 volts power in my uh, Swan as well. So if they're standby, no big deal. Now we'll have to, this will be cooled around a few times, you know, when I need it. But if I, if I, if I fully charge, I don't expect to have long sh showdowns with storms or whatever. I can just remove that cable and free spin these cameras all day long. And it'd be no big deal. Okay, so anyways, how am I going to spin these cameras? Okay, here is my stepping motor. On top of this, I'll, I have a piece coming that's going to allow me to mount a plate. Uh, I'm just taking a piece of this sheet metal when I cut this out and it's going to be mounted on top. These, using their manufacturer's mounting points, they're going to be stuck on here. So one's going to be stuck there and one's going to be stuck here. Back to back. Like I said, one's going to be main action. That'll be that one and any action that I miss will be this one here. How am I going to control the left right motion? Pretty simple. This is an easy driver board. It will mount right here. There's two 532nd mounts that I drilled out. I tapped. Uh, these are just computer motherboard uh, standoffs. And 
probably got a thousand of these laying around if you got a motherboard anywhere. So this is a driver for the separate motor. The separate motor is a can of kit. Bought it off eBay for like 23 bucks, I believe. Get that out of the way. The, uh, the motor will connect to these solder points here. This needs uh, two power inputs, a 5 volt and, a, and 12 volts, or whatever voltage your motor will run off of. This has three wires that are required to go to this device. This is an Adreno Uno. It's a microcontroller. This is a very cool little product. Unlimited number of projects on the internet you can do with this little board. I mean, from musical instruments to weather sensors, it just unbelievable. Uh, probably have a lot of fun with this. <laughs> uh, okay, so anyways, on this microcontroller, this is actually going to be mounted inside my vehicle. On this, well, I will have a a digital encoder, which is basically, uh, simply speaking, it's a potentiometer. That if I turn the potentiometer left or right, it's going to send the commands through this EG driver module to move the motor left and right. Pretty simple. What's going to happen, since this is all technically digital, whenever I face the, say, if we're, this is north, if I'm looking north, if I have the, the knob on my switch facing north, my camera's going to face north. If I decide I want to quickly, I got something on my left, I flip the switch, it'll turn really fast, really precise to the exact same direction as my switch is facing. Same thing. And I should have 360 degree rotation. Now, since this is a microcontroller, and if I do have my USB cords hooked up, I can find my limitations and how many times I can rotate around, and I can program this to not exceed the limits of my cable, so I won't damage anything. So if I want to say I want to, I want to go 720 degrees around, that I make this cable tight. This box, this microcontroller, will limit that. It won't damage anything. Uh, I think I've pretty much went over everything. If you have any questions, uh, just ask me. Uh, I'm not an expert on this. I'm learning as I'm going. Uh, there's the part number for the board. This is the Adreno. This is the original one. You get on eBay, you're going to find a thousand and one made by China. This is made by Italy. It's good. It's quality. I don't want junk. This was made by, uh, I got this off eBay, but you, there's, there's a website called Spark Fun, I believe it's called, that you can buy a lot of this equipment from. And uh, it's all right there. Uh, so anyways, uh, just real quick, I'll show you it all fits in here. Camera, camera, USB cord, it'll be, it'll be inside as well. And then, when it's all said and done, I can go storm chasing. And over here on the outside edges, I'm going to have uh, 100 pound or so magnets, just whatever the biggest I can find that's affordable. Uh, just whatever that keeps it from blowing off the top of my truck. This is that would be pretty much all you see. Be nice and clean. Uh, take I'll take this tape off later when. Uh, I'm ready to actually assemble everything with it. Just laying around the shop. I don't want to open it up. Alrighty, that's the gist of it.